households are certainly gearing up for good times this Christmas, but we can't forget about the furry family members who might not be used to so much excitement during the festive season. Yeah, to tell us more, pet behaviourist and Pooches at Play host, Lara Shannon joins us from Melbourne with some adorable friends. Hello, Lara, who have you got there with you? <laughs> Good morning. I have Darcy here. We've got little Bucky, the neighbour's dog, and Vindy. Oh, yeah, they look all tired out from all the Christmas plans. That's <laughs> yeah. it. Um, now, Lara, Christmas time and, and a new puppy, they seem to go hand in hand. What preparations should be made for a new mm -hmm. addition? Well, of course, we want to make sure we've got everything they're going to need, like their collars, their leads, a bed, bowls, all that kind of stuff. But the big thing we really need to do is we need to puppy-proof our house because a lot of people don't think about the fact that puppies like to chew. So wires, all those things hanging around, stuff that you just don't think about. Uh, we need to get out of the puppy's way, have a think about some toxic plants, have a little bit of a Google and make sure they're not hanging around. And uh, yeah, just make sure there's no escape holes around pools, all the gates and fences need to be right. Priority is keeping them safe. Now, Lara, I read that uh, during lockdown there was a surge in tail sprains on dogs because they were so happy to have their owner's <laughs> home. They were wagging their tails all day, every day. But after lockdown, some of these dogs are obviously going to be lacking socialisation skills. So what are some warning signs that we should be looking out for? Yeah, look, a lot of our dogs are going to struggle, and particularly with Christmas Day, this is going to be the first time for so many of them that they've actually seen a big group of people inside of the home. So particularly, you know, Vindy here is a rescue dog, and he has, a, you know, he's quite fearful and anxious at times, not that he looks like it now. <laughs> but when strangers come into the home, it can be really overwhelming for new puppies and also some of those rescue dogs, which we also saw the surge in. So we want to make sure that we just slowly introduce people. I always like to put the boys on leads, first of all, ask people to take off any sunnies, caps, hoodies, all of that, and just keeping the interactions really calm and positive. So we want to make sure that they're not feeling, like you're feeling overwhelmed with so many people. And the big thing as well, I always just say to people, ignore them at first if you can. Just wait till everything's calmed down and let the dogs come to you. Um, and don't put your hand out to say hi. I don't know why people get taught to do that because mm. uh, just, just pat them over and let them come in their own time. Oh, good stuff. Uh, New Year's Eve uh, can be a very stressful time for both cats and dogs as well. I always feel terrible. Our, our previous owners of our house, their dog always comes by oh. uh, because, because of the fireworks and stuff. Oh, and wants the, to go home. Yeah, uh, there'll be a lot of do's and don'ts on yeah. New Year's Eve big ones. So same as on Christmas Day, New Year's Eve, we want to make sure that our pets are safe and that they've got a really safe place that they can go to away from all the noise as well. So what I really like to do, um, some dogs will go to great lengths. Like I've heard some really terrible stories about what's happened to dogs when they're just trying to escape the home. So number one, again, like puppy proofing, you want to make sure that your dog can't escape and you want to make sure they've got a room to go to, ideally inside the home. Ideally your bedroom, because that can really help a lot of dogs feel calm. Making sure they've got things like their bed, their favourite toys. You can spray some calming sprays around with pheromones in there to help them feel relaxed. Pull the blinds down, so really try and block out that noise. And also things like the radio can help. Don't put the fireworks channel on the TV and leave them with that. I always do have to remind people to do that. And there's actually a great new program just for dogs called Dog TV. So it plays lots of calming and relaxation programs. And you can also use, start using it now to start desensitising them to those loud noises as well, like fireworks, starting on really low so they can start to get used to it. But good, we just want to make sure they're kept safe. And we don't punish them for any destructive behaviour as well because they're just trying to tell us that they're upset. Yeah, they're yeah. scared. Um, Laura, at Christmas lunch can get pretty yeah. messy, can't it? And when it comes to food, what should we keep out of reach of our pets? Bo Ryan, who uh, plays with us on the show from time to time, his dog ate a bunch of cherries and he was pretty mm. nervous, wasn't he, um, that perhaps his dog yes. might get very sick? That's right. Look, anything with pips, and that's why the avocados are here, because um, there has been a Doberman or two that I've known that has wolfed down one of those, and that's a rather large pip in there. So we want to make sure that we're keeping away from anything that does have those seeds and pips. The macadamia nut is really highly toxic out of all the nuts for dogs, so keep oh. them away. Lucky the boys are up here. So, yeah, watch those. Um, some of the other nuts will make them a little bit sick, but uh, they're the worst. Puddings, of course, and the fruit cake because it's got the nuts in there. Grapes, sultanas, raisins, all of those are highly toxic for dogs as well. So we want to make sure that we keep them away. 
alcohol is the big one, of course, which includes the brandy custard, anything, and obviously a lot of the puddings sometimes have alcohol in them as well. Mm. And then those chocolates, the darker the chocolate, the worse it is, so we want to keep them away. Coffee as well is another one. Um, onions is another one. And the ham is so high in salt. Turkey with the skin on, chicken with the skin on, high in fat. Too much of that for our dogs can make them really sick and a lot end up in emergency with pancreatitis after Christmas Day. So Aww. just uh, ask guests not to feed them. Yeah, I know they, they look at you with imploring eyes, <laughs> oh, but gosh. really the, the best thing is to ask guests not to do it. Mm. And that's why it's really important to have that safe place for your pets as well. Oh, yeah. the poor little things. Yeah, Larry, your latest book, World of Dogs, is out just in time for Christmas. Uh, what, what other kind of things does it cover in there? Well, this one's a fun little fact book. It's quite different to Eat, Play, Love Your Dog. This one is really all about the wonderful world of dogs, from evolution of the dog right through to famous dogs in history, in literature, dogs in culture. We're some of the most unique dog breeds that we know today and some of the most popular actually originated from. And lots of fun facts. In fact, did you know that it's rumoured, legend has it, that fairies actually use corgis as their steeds? So the little furry bit mm. in between their shoulders is actually called a fairy saddle. Aww. So we've got some little facts like that. Yeah, it's cute. And another one that a lot of people, our French Poodle, a lot of people, or France likes to claim them as their, uh, their national dog. But in fact, it's likely that they came from Germany. So um, little facts like that. The Laza Apso was considered a good luck charm. So they're used in Tibetan monasteries to keep beds warm and to guard the place. While the little Pekingese was actually used to be uh, kept up in uh, the uh, Roman emperor's and the Chinese emperor's sleeve. Because if anyone came too close as a threat, they would let them loose on them out of the robes of their sleeves. Oh, wow. Wow. Just some fun little facts that even I was kind of like, wow, I didn't know that. So um, good fun, good little stocking filler. Oh, oh grab it now for Christmas. It is available now. There it is. That's what it looks like. You can get it from um, pictures.play.com. <laughs> Laura, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate your time. Have a merry one, hey? Pleasure. Everyone Thanks. keep safe and enjoy this Christmas.